Hi, I'm Mariah Gladstone from Indigi Kitchen, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a bison butternut squash lasagna. This recipe is super easy and delicious with only three main ingredients, naturally, of course, gluten-free, and it incorporates your vegetables right into your delicious comfort food dish. So it's perfect for anyone to satisfy their delicious carb cravings while actually eating squash. The first thing we need to do is preheat our oven to 400 degrees. While we're waiting for our oven to heat up, we're gonna cut our squash into noodles. In order to cut our butternut squash up, we're gonna separate this long part from this round part. The round part has our seed pocket in there. Totally edible, but it's a little bit more difficult to cut into noodles. Remember that butternut squash can be tricky to cut, so you wanna make sure you're being gentle and you'll end up with a piece like this, which is full of delicious edible squash, and in here we have a seed pocket. So in order to cut this, what I'm going to do is place my flat side down, and I'm just gonna slice around this peel on the outside, just to remove this outside skin. Next thing we're going to do is to remove our stem here and then cut this big piece of squash into noodles. So we want to make our noodles roughly rectangular and anywhere from a half inch to a quarter inch thickness. Remember that the thinner you slice the noodles, the faster your lasagna will cook. So I'm finding a flat side and then I'm just cutting down to cut these noodles. I'm going pretty thin with my noodles because I have a relatively small butternut squash, and so I'm trying to maximize the amount of area that I'm able to cover with this squash. Now that I have a whole bunch of noodles of roughly equal shape, I'm actually going to set those aside and start to brown my bison burger. I have about a pound of bison burger here, and I'm just gonna put this into a pan on medium heat and brown it until there's no more redness left in the meat. This mixture of spices is made from basil, garlic powder, oregano, and thyme. I'm just gonna sprinkle this on the top of everything and stir it in to make sure that it gets well incorporated. Now that this bison meat is totally browned, I'm gonna take it off of the heat and add one can of tomato sauce. Tomatoes are, of course, another wonderful indigenous food. Again, bison is very lean, so there was no need for me to drain any fat off of this. Our next step is super simple. It's just layering the lasagna. We just alternate between meat sauce, squash, meat sauce, squash, and meat sauce. And then it goes into the oven. Because you're doing three layers of meat sauce, you wanna to try to distribute things evenly among your different layers. Then we're gonna put our squash noodles down. And some of these squash noodles are not going to go all the way across the pan, as you'll notice, so you can cut one of them into smaller chunks. Now I'm just gonna take this lasagna and put it into the oven where it will cook for an hour at 400 degrees. Now that my squash is in the oven, I'm gonna set my timer for about 45 minutes. At 45 minutes, you have the option to add cheese if you wanted to add a little bit of mozzarella to the top, but mozzarella and cheese are of course dairy products that are not part of the indigenous food family. They are, however, very delicious on lasagna, and I think they make this dish just perfect. Now that 45 minutes has elapsed, I'm gonna take the lasagna out of the oven, 
put some cheese on it, and then put it back into the oven for the next 15 minutes. This part's super simple. If you're adding cheese at this stage, you're just sprinkling a little bit of mozzarella or some slices of cut fresh mozzarella on top of your lasagna. If you're not adding cheese, skip this step entirely and just cook your lasagna straight through for 60 minutes. Now that I've added my mozzarella, this dish is going straight back into the oven, setting a timer for another 15 more minutes, and then it will be done. Our hour is up and our lasagna is ready. Obviously our lasagna is super hot right now, but we're gonna let it cool down for about 10 minutes and then it's ready to be served. And here's our delicious lasagna, ready to be eaten. Absolutely amazing, every time.